Hey everyone and welcome back to Joey's Retro Handhelds. I'm Joey and today we're going to be looking at the new Garlic OS that was just released for the RG405M series and the Retroid Pocket 2S. Now before we start anything, this is completely alpha. So this is not for anybody new to install. This is more for the experienced users that just want to take a look at what Garlic OS looks like on these devices what it can do right now and just get an idea for the feel of things. So again, don't install this if this is your first device, if you're new or have no idea what you're doing as it's a bit more complicated and not really something that's completely playable right now. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is format our SD card as XFAT. And I'm just gonna use Rufus here to do so and pretty simply, and you can just name the volume label whatever you want. Next up on that SD card after we formatted, you want to create a folder called boot. Now we're going to head to the Garlic OS GitHub page and we're going to grab the init or init file that he has here. The file is going to download as a .txt file, so just rename it and remove the .txt. Then you want to move that actual file into the boot folder. Now we want to head back to the GitHub page and this time we want to grab the build root and this is the arch64 root fs file for this model. Download that file and then move it into the boot folder on the SD card and then extract it there. It'll take some time so don't worry if it looks like it's stuck. When all that's done, you should have a boot folder and inside should be two files, the init file and the root fs file. One more file that we need, we're going to head back to the GitHub and grab the installer.apk file. And you want to put that on the root of the SD card. Now go ahead and grab your device and I'm going to be using the RG405V here and you can boot into it normally and then you want to navigate to a files app and then install the APK file that's on the SD card. You only want to install this once and you only want to run it once. So just be careful of that. When you open up the app, let it run, and when you see the done word, you can basically back out of it and turn off the device. Now we need to boot into actual Garlic OS, and this might take you a few tries to do, but the basic idea here is you want to hold the power button, and after one and a half seconds, you want to hold the menu button as well, so you'll be holding down two buttons. The best way that I found to do this is as soon as you hear the fan start spinning up, hold down the menu button, and you should be able to boot right in. If you happen to just boot into Android again, just turn it off and try it again. It might take you a few attempts. Once we're in, it looks like a newer updated Garlic OS. So anybody that's familiar enough with the RG35XX can see what you're going for here. And it looks basically the same with just some updated graphics and all of that. However, as of right now, we haven't added any ROMs or BIOS files or really anything, so we can't do much. So let's just push the power button to turn it off. And then we're gonna plug the SD card back into our computer. Once you plug your SD card back into your computer, you're gonna see a whole bunch of new folders, but the ones that we care about are the RetroArch folder, as well as the library folder. And the library folder is basically a ROMs folder. So you can see all your platforms, just go ahead and transfer your ROMs over into the right platform folder. Okay. 
And then for the BIOS files, for PS1 at least, you can go over to the RetroArch system folder and you want to add your BIOS files here. Once you've done all of that, just safely eject your card and then put it back into the 405V or whatever device you're using. And then again, you're going to have to do the holding of the two buttons to get back into garlic. A lot of the shortcuts and hotkeys and all of that are basically the same as you'd expect on the 35XX. Performance wise though, PS1 doesn't run that great and I'm sure a lot of others might not as well. So just go ahead and try some things and just see what results you get. To up the brightness, you would hold the menu button and then the volume buttons and just hold it and that'll help you get the brightness up way high. Otherwise, that's going to be it for this one. I just want to share how to actually install it, what to do, as it was a little convoluted, and I actually asked Gamma Squeeze for some help to do this. So thanks, Gamma, and if you're not familiar with Gamma OS, then definitely go install Gamma OS. But for everybody else, go ahead and play with garlic and just see what you can accomplish, and hopefully this video helps you. Don't forget to like and sub to help the channel grow, and hope you all have a good one.